Good morning, good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here to present for the best rap performance. Who? Yeah. Who that? Who? We did see Obia Boa. I'm Rado Wow. Congratulations. Third time lucky. Charlie, my brother off. This is for every young rapper out there. Your dreams are valid. Shouts to Chame Kwame for paving the way. Shouts to Sarah Kodier, Reggie Rockstone, Obrafo, strong man. This is for you. Yo, you know what? From Pork and Paluta, every Kumasi rapper out there, I love you guys so much. And you know one thing? One woman who supported Obiabua so much, Dolores from Paul Manson. God bless you. Thank you guys so much. I love you. Yo, welcome back. This is a road to TGMA 25. It is now time for Star Chat. Yes, indeed. I told you that we'll be having this man joining us. And this is the moment where we get to have a conversation with him. He's a gospel artist who is not new to the scheme at all as he has played so many awards over the last 25 years. Let's get into conversation with him. His name is Nasi. <laughs> <laughs> Nasi, you're welcome. Thank you. You feeling Thank you. good? Thank you. Very, very good. Thank you so much. There's something I love about Nasi is very calm. When you meet him, there's this fatherly <laughs> spirit to, to I, don't, I don't know how you do it. But yeah, um, so Nasi, how do you feel about Ghana Music Awards being 25 years? You know, the Ghana Music Awards is a, a seat that if you sit on, it's like, if you are not careful, you'll be bent because <laughs> every time your heart is like, am I winning or I'm not? And it's like the tension and which it also, it also puts you in that mood of you've arrived. Mm. that you've achieved what you've been fighting for. So the general view, mm -hmm. honestly, I have, I have loved to be part of this scheme. And also, this scheme has been a blessing to my, I mean, ministry and also my journey as well. And uh, I think... Uh, uh, that is the little I can say. That's beautiful. It, it show, definitely shows that it's had a lot of impact yeah. on your career. And I'm sure we'll get into that shortly. Mm. Yes, indeed. But do you remember your first nomination? Yes, I do. How, how did you feel about it? Share, share with us, Sadie Fund. That memories. was 2008. 2008, your first nomination? My, not my, yes, my first nomination and also which I won. That and one. you won two? Oh, yes. wow. Two and one. Yes. Which, which was this, if you, if you can a, remember? A sound engineer of the year. Wow. Uh, I even went to church and then thank God for it. <laughs> Hallelujah. <Yeah. laughs> I mean, you must anyway. Because yeah. the whole, that, that, that year, 2008, the whole church was so happy. Mm. That I mean, we had that award, and I was in fact here bought me powder power. Oh, are you serious? They actually, <laughs> yeah, for real, for real, a lot of powder. Oh my goodness! Because you see, it's something a young producer at that time that um, you were producing. The giant at that time was Zab Mallet, ah. and you know, all of us we look up to Zab Mallet, and you've been nominated among the giant, and God being so good, you you had it. Yeah. So it's like uh, I had to say when he, like you see the Nasi. And you see the size of Zab Mallet, see David and Goliath. <laughs> <laughs> and and we you taking that was from from your 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 father. Yeah. You know? So I mean I was so happy. And the one thing that, that Zab also did was uh, after he called and said congratulations and then you know you are doing well. Oh. So that that was a time that I felt, yes, I have arrived. That's right. I have arrived in Ghana music. That's industry, right. You know. But at that point, how long had you already been in the industry for? Uh, if I'm starting from way back, I did my first demo in 92. Oh, then that's long ago. Yes, that's long ago. So, and uh, I was, after 92, I think I started pro major production around um, uh, 94, there about for other musicians. That is why I was able to nominate it okay. through the uh, sound engineer. So I was doing more production for other musicians, not really singing. So in 2007, that No Tribe yes. released the affairs, our affairs album, and which it took was over. Was you know, yeah. yeah. But unfortunately, we didn't get nomination because at that time, if you do cover, uh, it's like uh, the, the scheme don't recognize recording the covers. So, and that oh. first album was more like a cover because we did more of the popular 
uh, gospel, gospel songs, songs in the churches and then so okay so we're they, they were your original songs it wasn't our so original that's the song. reason you were nominated yes. at the time yes i see but i think at this point in time we're seeing a few um changes here and there yeah, i mean you know 25 years yeah. definitely uh now TGMA, yes. you know, we from M, uh, MTN, Ghana Music Awards, BGMA, now TGMA. So, you know, definitely the scheme has grown and same as we, the musicians, also we have also grown. That's right. Because I imagine 1908, uh, I was young. That's but so today, true. now I have great We don't hair. see it, so we don't see it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say we don't see it. Hey, hey, you move, you move. <laughs> today you've told us a secret. <laughs> what would you say the impact the, uh, the VGMA, so now the TGMA has mm -hmm. had on your uh, career, you talk. You started talking about mm. it initially. You talked about how big a stage it is. Mm. What impact has it had on your career? A lot. Um, you see, um, if you are doing like you are doing, you have a business mm -hmm. running, and then uh, you don't have customers to buy, and all of a sudden somebody holds your hands and tells you that okay, I have this big market. Mm -hmm. If you go with me, I'll be able to introduce you to the larger market. Mm -hmm. That is the kind of image TGMA gives you. Wow. Trust me, it's, I don't, that's what I'm saying, I don't play with TGMA platform at all at because all. It's, a, it's a platform that has really had a lot of impact in my career. Mm. Yes, a I lot. I see. I mean, the international yeah. um, recognition and all came from yeah. the T TGMA. being a part of TGMA. Sure. I like the sound of sure. that. And, and still in the same line, yeah. I'm looking at what you would say the... Uh, TGMAs have done or contributed towards the growth of actually the music industry here in Ghana? I think, um, you see, music in Ghana, sometimes we, the musicians, we kind of, um, I don't know whether to use the word kind of stubborn or uh, <laughs> we ignore a lot. Most of us, we ignore a lot. We behave as if we don't like it. But the truth of the matter is that when you are not nominated as to, you see people also getting They're angry upset. and, you know, True. upset, you know. And this same thing, you behave as if you don't like it. So if you are not nominated, why are you angry? Mm. You see, so I think uh, the TGMA should not even listen to our emotional, I mean, traumas that we give them, but they should keep on, you know, do their job because they, f they, they have, in, in fact, they are like this in our life. Mm -hmm. They are like this. If I use this term, you understand, you see, every politician is looking for this. So That's TGMA true. is like this in musicians' life. Hey, that's deep. That's deep. You see, TGMA is like this. Mm. It's this term in musicians' life. So, because whatever we are doing here, if you win an award in America, UK, and you feel proud of it, why not? So you you can you you. It's, like, it's more like a, you deny your parent and you are rather adapting somebody's parent as your yours. No. That's so our first of all love brilliant. VGMA, their effort making our industry more vibrant than winning a, an award from outside. We started this conversation uh, mm. with you talking about, you know, some of the, your memorable moments. Mm. And I, I love the fact that you, you even remember your first award, mm. your first nomination and mm. all that. I'm thinking, what's your most memorable moment in the TG areas, all 25 years, but it doesn't necessarily include you? So it's not you picking up award or anything like that? I think it was when Joe Metal had the... Artist of the Year. Mm. I think it was 2017. 17. Because I think over the years, uh, gospel artists has been on, like, been part nominated on the Artist of the Year, but none has been able to, you know, achieve uh, to the higher oh. way. But Joe Metal, you know, Finally. opened the floodgate for us. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then I think uh, later, Dinah also followed yes. as well. So, and that, that night, I, myself, I even had a, an album of the year. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we can say that, yes, that night, gospel really, uh, we conquered that That's night. Right. Because album of the year was also another uh, competitive, you know, category that uh, at that time, I think, Sarko, almost all the giants were there. That's uh, right. And we uh, had the album of the year. Joe had Artists of, Artist the, of year. the Year. And so, that, that night was one of the memorable, that year was... Indeed. Memorable year that You've taken year. me right back, actually, because yeah. I remember how everyone was just screaming. I, I, it was I, a whole uproar. I think I, I even went to the stage with you, and oh. I think when I had my first award, I said, I'm waiting for my brother to come <laughs> to take the... Because <laughs> I was so much... I mean, uh, the energy and my faith was just was so high yeah. that I said, Joe is winning. Because oh. we started campaigning for him. We wanted Joe because... 
it was then it was too much long it was long overdue mm. that we yeah, you be Gospel for you And you did it. I, you know. So congratulations know. once again. Even Thank though it was you. long ago, I Thank think it's you. still, it's still. Oh, but it's still fresh. Yeah, yeah. We, we celebrate it all the time. Thank you very much. So that's why Joe is one of our, you know, uh, top. You know. That's right. And he's Joe is now everywhere. That's I true. Mean, he's really working hard. With the and, shows you know, and all. Of course, you know. Whew, it's been a long time coming. Yeah. And you have been there. You know, you talk about from 1992. I can't mention my age at the time. <laughs> but <laughs> there are so many young ones that are trying to hit the scene now. You know, they're trying their hardest. There are some who are trying mm. to even get onto the scheme. Mm. You know, what would be your advice to them um, as to how to get into the GMAs, you know, because mm. some are trying. You know, I've, I've heard many stories where they said they filed and they didn't get it and so on and so forth. What would be your advice? Since you've come through, you've done it time and again. My advice to them is that they should take their time. But yeah. you see, hard work pays. Yeah. Hard work. Music industry in Ghana, it's not a joke. Mm. It's not a joke. It may look very slim and small, but trust me, the, for you to be recognized out there, you need a lot of sacrifices. And right. if you are one of the artists that sleeps a lot, forget it. Then you won't get it because yeah. there are others who are not sleeping and they are working yeah. hard. Because me, most, I'm from, the, I'm from studio. You see, sitting oh, down oh. here. Yes. Wow. You see, you'll be working the whole night and you'll be sleeping around 3 to 4 a.m. Mm. By 6, 7, you wake up, up again, again and then check what you did overnight. And then you'll be at a different place. And another person is also sleeping, yeah. joking. See, if you're a musician and you really want to be recognized and you sleep a lot, you don't go to the studio, you don't associate with the right people. And mm -hmm. also try as much as possible to get close to the people that they've achieved right. their high heights. Because you will call them, they will not respond, but keep calling. Mm -hmm. When you see that they are performing somewhere, rush, rush there and meet them. It doesn't reduce your uh, artistry as uh, you are the uh, whoever, you have the right. best voice or whatever. It's not about... It's not only about your voice or your talent, you know. The way you conduct yourself also uh, helps a lot. Yeah. So they should respect and they should conduct themselves, themselves properly That's and respect right. their, you know, their peers. Those, those know. who have been there before yes. too. Yeah. I like the sound of that. Thank you so much for your, your advice. I know that yeah. they are listening right now <laughs> and they are taking they their notes. <laughs> oh no, I mean, how can they? <laughs> you know, uh, you mentioned four, four nominations this year? Yeah. For, okay, can do you remember them? Uh, uh, gospel song of the year. That's right. Uh, gospel artist of That's the right. year. That's uh, right. Um, popular song of the uh -huh. year. That's uh, the popular song yes. of the year. And then artist of the year. That's right. You you went all the way up. You know, artist of the all the way up. <laughs> you said you wanted more though. Yeah. It, for the same song. Uh, you know, pro, pro, I have done a lot of. I did produce. Pro, I did produce some other artists as okay. well. So. I was expecting maybe oh. I get some nomination for, and also male vocalist as well, That's songwriter oh. as well. Because you see, uh, Aseda, the composition of Aseda is very deep. Mm. I mean, even me myself, till today, I sit and then I'm, I'm not even discovering some of the things that I said in the song. Wow. Yes. I'm being very honest with you. If, you're, if you like, just sit down, listen to the song, and then think. You see, think about the lyrics of the song. You realize that really, really, it's deep. So sometimes um, I was expecting I'll be nominated in, you know, songwriter of the year. Mm -hmm. But hey, the the board knows better. Mm -hmm. So maybe mine and the, the others that were nominated there, they felt maybe their composition is more technical than mm -hmm. mine. So I'm hundred percent okay. That is why I mean I didn't say anything. Yeah. But you know. This one is yeah, bon hey. So I just need to at least uh -huh. <laughs> express at least what your hopes were. That's but it. it's it's nice to know that at least you have four, you know. Mm. And yeah. there's a there's there is a likelihood that you, you'll four, get it. I mean, as long as they're voting. I mean, four 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 is big because yeah. not some some even had one. Just one. Some and, have none. You know, some have none. Mm. So you'll be recognized and up to the top. Yeah, you know? artist of the year. Let me hear you. My man coming. I'm <laughs> That's <to> right. Nasty. <laughs> <laughs> so looking at the fact that you know you've had a brilliant past year, mm. I mean, there's no doubt mm. about it. What um, new projects are you on? Is there anything happening this year? Yeah. Um, you know, as I said, we don't need to sleep, so we are not sleeping at all. That's uh, right. Ghana should watch out for our next release, and uh, we are preparing. Uh, I think uh, July as well. We have a, a concert. Uh, nice. In London, we are touring London and US, Canada, and uh, uh, Italy, Holland as well. So, all these? 
In yes. July, or there's a, there's a like period that this, from that's July. That's what we have our oh, plans nice. for the year. You Great. know, our plans for the year. And also, you know, this year is a, an election year. Yes. So politicians are also knocking on my doors to record songs for, <laughs> for them. So it's one of our, our goals for this year. That's so right. definitely people, will also, people should also watch out because if your political party knocks on my door, you hear me recording, recording songs for them. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Mm. You're making some good moolah out there. You now, know. See. <laughs> All right, so 25 years, mm. TGMAs. What's your 25th anniversary message to them? Uh, all I would say is that, which I have said it already, mm. that uh, they shouldn't get discouraged because um, we are very difficult people as musicians. So uh, our, we musician normally speaks from our emotions because for you to put words together and make it more attractive for people to kind of enjoy and even somebody crying. Mm -hmm. So we are very emotional beings. So when things happen and we speak out of that emotions, they shouldn't take it serious. And then, you know, because of that, they will kind of sideline some people. They should always be the play, the mother role and the father role of always, even though we are wrong, they should always welcome and adapt our wrongs and then correct us. That's all. That's all I can say. Oh, to too much love, too much love. <laughs>